every single painting that I have has like, you know, has, has a pretty clear theme when you look at it. And so um, all of my materials are chosen um, very much based on the theme and just how it'll make the audience feel. Um, I really like to choose things that make me very happy um, because my paintings are very happy. So I like to just, um, I like to have materials and just objects that make other people smile. And I think that is, I mean, that's the main goal of my paintings. Um, you know, they each individual one doesn't have so much of a meaning, it's just, to make people smile um, and to pass on that smile to other people. For example, with um, Lily, I, I knew I really wanted to do something with lemons and I wasn't sure exactly what it was, what I was trying to do with it and what I was trying to use. Um, I looked at a lot of, um, I don't, I don't know if anybody's ever seen it, but those uh, Starbucks cups that they make on Etsy where they put the little fake ice and then like a, um, a, like a lemon on it. I, I watched a whole bunch of those videos and then just drawing it out to try and see how I'm going to get that type of, you know, like look into what I'm trying to put on the canvas. And then um, from there, just um, of course, choosing the hairstyle and how exactly I want the hair to look. And um, so the materials are very much based on um, what it is that I, I really want to create. I have a lot of materials that are playing on the canvas. I um, and. That's always probably the trickiest part for me because a lot of it is strategizing exactly what it what is going to be on there, how it's going to get on there, and then making sure that it's going to stay for a very, very long time. I use a lot of different materials and I do test a lot of materials as well with different glues um, or just adhesives or anything just to make sure that it actually stays on there. I watch a ton of YouTube videos. I am on Pinterest all the time. Um, trying to figure out which materials to use. Um, I, I like to just really like get a bunch of different options um, together and then kind of just narrow it down by either testing it um, or just sometimes like um, I go with uh, some things that I'm more familiar with because I know that they can um, that, that they'll work a little bit better but definitely during this year of my residency like the the materials that I've used and everything like, that's all just grown so much I've grown so much like just in my knowledge of what to use how to use them like how to apply them so it this year's it's just really taken off for you know those those 3d objects that i have the materials that i use for the most part i mean i use i use a lot of styrofoam i use a lot of flowers i've always loved flowers that's something that i i use all 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 the time um and i love i love to find different flowers sometimes i'm in michael's and i i look at the flower section and i'm like oh my gosh this is this is something this is like it'll it'll spark an idea in me like for something else um and most recently um with this past set of paintings i've been using um i'll just just experimenting with a lot of other things. For example, um, Sienna, she has the cake on her head. I think my favorite thing that I was able to use was the spackle for the icing because, I mean, who knew that you would use spackle for icing? And it's it was so beautiful. It worked out so well. And, you know, I, I just, I felt like I was a real baker. Um, <laughs> but yes, yeah, so, um, the spackle was really cool. I've used a lot of resin in the past year, which has been really, really helpful um, because it's a great um, adhesive, you know, to stick things on there. But then it also, it just has so many uses. You know, I use it for um, the, the little syrup that's on top and everything. So yeah, 
yeah, I think the materials that I've, I've started to use in the past year have just been so exciting. And it just, like I said before, I've just grown so much and it's it's been a really great journey.